Hey everybody, welcome back to the Aspirations of a Wannabe Wine Snob. I'm your host, Zach Nichols. Today is February 27, 2012. It's a Monday. I don't know if you can tell from the way I sound. I, I think I sound like, like shit, to be honest. I don't feel the hottest. I don't know if it's sinuses or I'm coming out with a sinus infection or a cold. But whatever it is, it, I'm not enjoying it. But uh, like I said, today's Monday. Uh... It took, yeah, it actually took me a while to decide if I wanted to do a uh, ah a, a vlog or not today because I didn't feel so good. My sense of smell is still there, but I'm just, I'm really congested. So I'm gonna we're gonna try it. We're gonna do one um, that I've never had before. Well, scratch that. I've had this producer. I actually did one on him. Yeah, I actually made one of the Beaujolais Nouveaux that I did back in November. But uh, doing the Georges Duwaf Morgon. Um, Beaujolais. This is 100% Gamay, hand harvested, as it says. It is 13% alcohol by volume. Um, like I said, I haven't had this one before. This actually made the top 100 of Wine Spectator. I don't know if you can see it, it's, or if you can read it. There we go. It's number 21 on the list. Um, I don't remember what they rated. I think it was like a 90. Oh, there it is. It's a 93. But that's from Wine Spectator. So I'm excited to try it. Um, and tonight is Mexican night for us. I hope that doesn't doesn't sound racist or anything. But uh, but we've got there's a restaurant town. It's not new or new to us. Just we we hated it when we first tried it, but now we we really like it. So we've been starting to go go to it every Monday. So we're tonight's Mexican Mondays at Garcia's. So we're we're excited about that. But here we go. I'm gonna open this real quick. Yeah. This uh this one is from the Burgundy region. Of France, specifically Beaujolais. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I've had very few Beaujolais in my brief little wine tasting career, which for me kind of started off late. Well, compared to a lot of people that drink wine, or you can, you can probably say it started early. It took me a while to actually get into wine. Um, I was definitely one of those guys that saw wine as more of a feminine drink and not a male, a uh, kind of a guy's thing. But the more I've become educated, the more I like wine the more I find it to be very masculine. And a lot of my friends give me hell for it, but hell, that's what it's all about. All right, we'll give it a look here. Beautiful ruby red on it, just right out of the bottle. Gorgeous color to it, as you can see there. That's it, and it's, it's as strong on fruit, because I can already, I already smell it. But here we go. Beautiful, beautiful nose, very complex. A lot of like raspberries, strawberries, a little bit of earth tones there, mud, a little bit of chocolate, and just almost like a little, like a hint of a of a almost like not toffee, but almost a little jammy, uh, but a little bit like coffee on the end too. Nice little touch of oak. All right, here we go. We'll give it a taste. Great flavor. My only, my only thing I don't like about this, the alcohol is hitting kind of hard on the back, kind of spiking on the heat. But it's got great flavor. I mean, definitely tough. Got a cold. It doesn't. It tastes great, but it doesn't taste as good as I think it as it normally does. I'm uh, very, very impressed. Impressed with apricot. That's what I was. That's what they said it tastes like. I can definitely tell it. But great wine. Like a great texture. Um, game A. It's gonna be like a little bit lighter. I'm, not as not like a Pinot light, but just like a hair above it. But it's a great one, almost like a Chianti light or a Sangio light. But it's definitely good. I would give this definitely a solid 92, 91. My only, like I said, my only qualm with this is the alcohol really spikes on the end. Um, question of the day. I know I asked this the other day, but I'm gonna I'm gonna re reinstate it and ask what what everyone thinks about me doing a second blog and if you would follow it since it would be a cooking blog and it'll probably call I'll probably call it like. Uh, Thomas and me, or Keller and me, or my uh, my adventures with the French Laundry. So we'll see how it is. But uh, everyone have a great week. Have a great week. I will probably put another one up on Thursday because I work tomorrow and I'll be doing one Wednesday. So yeah, Thursday probably next time I put one up. Actually, I'll probably put two up because I'm gonna be doing probably do one at 4:30 on Thursday. I actually had a request from YouTube to do another cigar one, which I'll probably do another cigar and beer one on Thursday. 
So everyone have a great, great next two days, and I will y'all will get to see me in a few days. Talk to you later. Bye.